Now in every FIFA game cycle, there is a brand new batch of players added in after every squad update week upon week. It allows for brand new young guns, the latest talents to be in the game and for us career mode fans to play with. Usually what we look forward to the most is the young and upcoming talent rising through the youth academy ranks, bursting into the first team and making his senior debut. So today we're going to be focusing on all the brand new wonder kids that have been added so far in late 2020 and 2021. Unknown talents that weren't available at the start and the launch of FIFA 21, new youngsters that could revolutionize their career and make a big stance in FIFA 22. Today, we ain't taking charge of PSG, we are delving into the second division in France and taking over Paris FC. With our main priority, the main overarching goal of signing every single 80 plus potential brand new one to get added in FIFA 21 since 2021. Sir BCHD will be guiding and nurturing the next generation of newly added talent with a lucrative budget to work with. Paris FC overnight is going to turn into one of the most promising clubs with the best young talent on their roster. Let's see how this rebuild slash experiment plays out and how long is it going to take Paris FC to not only overthrow PSG but become French footballing champions or just win any pieces of silverware. If you're going to enjoy the video, if I did miss out on any brand new Wonder Kids that you thought should be involved in this video, let me know down in the comments. Slap a like on it. We're back, baby. Subscribe for more FIFA content coming soon. Now, if we take a look at the Paris FC starting 11 you can tell why they're in division 2 they don't share too many similarities with their big brothers PSG besides that they reside in the same city we want to transform this team into their noisy neighbors whether that's in five seasons ten seasons I don't care how long it takes with their starting CDM named name at the club anything is possible Conor McGregor can buy Manchester United I think Sir BCHD can take Paris FC to the pinnacle of world football now like I stated at the beginning we do have a lucrative budget to work with here not that all the wonder kids in total are gonna to cost over 500 million millions. I just didn't want really any financial troubles throughout this video. Let's get to work as we have an abundance of signings and brand new talents to showcase and highlight to you guys today. Now as Tiesto would say, let's get down to business. To kick off the video, here is the first brand new Wonder Kid I've decided to sign and this first little bundle, we've got two Spanish camps and this one involves Mario Soriano from Atletico Madrid. 3.5 million pounds, the 18 year old joins us over from Spain, showing some early promising signs and the problem with these brand new wonder kids is that a lot of them don't have 2d photos no face gang is well and truly very powerful tonight as officially our first ever signing was a 17 year old bruno iglesias for 1.9 million pounds he arrives from the other side of madrid real madrid so i thought what well, better way to start this off by signing two up-and-coming spanish youth talents the next batch we have involved is yet another duo and this time it is the two brand new youth talents for manchester united both the ivorian amad diallo for 2.5 million pounds he recently signed it from Atalanta, but now he is switching countries yet again and is joining Paris FC in France. And also involved joining the club is Shola Shortai. Well, that's what I thought his name was pronounced, but no, it's Shore Tire. These two both exciting prospects, and I'm sure they're going to tear things up here in the French second division. The 16 year old joining our ranks, and there is no better time to be a Paris FC fan other than now. I know we've pretty much spent the majority of our money on attackers so far, but this is what I like to call the right winger bombardment. For some reason, this year, so many new right-wingers have been added into FIFA 21. And that includes the Croatian Ivan Saranic from Dinamo Zagreb for 1.2 million pounds. Yet another exciting prospect. It goes the same for yet another Ivorian, Mori Bamba, this time from Roma. Mo Bamba for short, he is showing great potential and we snatched him up for just under a million pounds. Doesn't stop there as we got to stop sleeping on South America. Argentina are producing some of the best youngsters right now and Santiago Simon is no exception. It'll be interesting to see how they grow and develop under all this competition as the 18 year old was picked up from Boca Juniors for 670k we have so much depth in this position it is not even funny I know a lot of action is going down right now it is pretty hectic in terms of the transfer front but we have spent the most amount of money now we're starting to focus on our defense and it's a three million pound pole arriving from Brighton Mikhail Karabonik I know I've completely butchered that name but the 19 year old 68 overall can play at left back and right back showing great potential I think he has got a great future ahead of him also, we can't forget yet another center back in Argentine again from Cologne. It is Leandro Quiros. The 16 year old currently doesn't have a potential status yet, but he will develop that once he gets over the 60 overall range as we paid a 1.35 million pound transfer fee. However, the rising stars in the defensive positions didn't stop there as the Uruguayan Lautaro Pertusati, another versatile hidden gem for 500k. He arrives from the South American leagues and can also play center back. I've got to be honest with you guys, most of these wonder kids that have been 
recently added I've never really heard of before, but I've definitely heard of these two Brazilian strikers, both Brenner and Lincoln. They've been causing all sorts of noise in the Brazilian league, and for 7.4 million pounds, we have poached him from his recent MLS club. The 20-year-old Brenner is one of our most expensive signings we're going to make. The 20-year-old has signed on the dotted line alongside his fellow Brazilian compatriot. Lincoln also showing great potential after his 5 million pound arrival from Vissel Kobe in Japan. Considering we are this far into the year and EA pretty much release squad updates rather frequently, we've missed out on a lot of new Wonder Kids added into the game. And after those two major striker pickups, we have just got about four or five more. Spurs prospect Dane Scarlett has been added into the game, the 16 year old with an exciting prospect tag. It'll be interesting to see if he's like their next Harry Kane after he departs for 1.6 million pounds. We have stolen him away from the English club. Same deal with Mulder's David Datro Fafana. What are with all these young Ivorians added into the game? They've got like a secret golden generation going on. The 17 year old is showing great potential. We got a little swap deal involved with that club. Also a Ukrainian from Shakhtar Donetsk, Bogdan Vionyik. He has no potential status currently. However, Benjamin Sesko arriving from RB Salzburg is yet another exciting prospect. This club does never miss with their young talents. We bought the Slovenian for 1.6 million pounds and I don't even know how all these guys are going to grow and develop. With all these strikers at the club right now, some have got to prosper and some just have to fail. This is going to be the busiest transfer window Paris FC have ever witnessed, if not the whole footballing world. As after that heavy shift on our attack, we have lifted our focus towards our defense and it's the brand new Romanian talent out of Juventus's academy, Radu Dragusin. For 2.3 million pounds, we've stolen him away from Piemonte Calcio and he will be a main figurehead of our back four. Don't forget our final defensive additions, including Amar Dedic, yet another addition from RB Salzburg, 1.35 million pounds for the 17 year old. The Bosnian showing great potential and he's just got versatility in his veins. He's able to play at both right back and left back and a player that has caught me off guard, the 16 year old from AEK Athens, the Albanian, 64 rated and is only 16 years of age, Mario Mitai. He's showing great potential and again, it could be a big part of our future here at Paris FC. Depending on what formation he plays, pretty much all the wing backs and center backs we have signed can play anywhere in the back line. Just when you thought the wingers revolution would slow down, no, in fact, it has only gotten stronger as we win the race for Francisco Coencial. I know I've completely mispronounced that name, but the Portuguese is probably one of the most exciting talents on this list and someone I've been probably most hyped and look forward to signing from Porto for 2.15 million pounds. He arrives as one of the players with the highest potential on this list, so look out for him and how he prospers in this team. We also have the addition of Morgan Rogers from Lincoln City. The Englishman is showing great potential and can play on the left hand side, finally switching things up from the constant right wingers we've been receiving. And you know it's not a Sir PCHD video without an Italian signing and our brand new stallion is Brian O'Day. For 700k we swoop in on the Sassuolo Youth Academy starlet. If you take a deep look into things you can tell what clubs have won in these squad updates because some talent that have been added to the likes of Spurs, RB Salzburg, Manchester United and Juventus has been staggering. Let's go for two Italians in a row, Nicolo Fagioli which literally translates to Nick Beans. He's another Juventus player and we will go ahead and accept one of our biggest offers yet. Hannibal the Cannibal Manchbury has a stunning afro and has been lighting up the Premier League 2 with Manchester United's second team. He'll be on his way back to the homeland as a 17 year old Frenchman that could well and truly become a club legend. Niall John alongside Dane Scarlett has been some of the two young talents from Spurs being added into the game so we'll go ahead and sign the cam for 800k. Yet another cam and the first Dane on this list, Mauritius Kayegard. We've left a lot of the cams till last but he's 6 foot 4 and we are going to be signing the Scandinavian Viking and last but not least, lucky last, we're going to be having the Paraguayan striker, yet another goal getter from Atlanta United, Eric Lopez. Our second import from the MLS will be our last signing for the new batch of 2021 Wonder Kids. Just like that, it brings an end to our spending spree and yes, I know, unfortunately, no shot stopper, no man in between the sticks has been signed or no goalkeeping talents that have been worthy of this video have been added into FIFA 21. My sincerest apologies, if I could convert one of these players into a goalkeeper, I would, but sadly that's just not possible. Now after an abundance of signing, a new era has begun here at Paris FC and a revolution is beginning in the second division. This is how the starting 11 is now looking. We've changed up the formation. We've completely switched up the tactics to a 3-4-1-2 formation. We're going to be rocking this formation with this starting 11. Hopefully the assistant believes in us and once we simulate through, he'll stick to this starting team. We've got the South American force, the Brazilian partnership of Brenner and Lincoln up top with the camp being Soriano. On the wings, Amadiallo and Cohen 
and Siao will be alongside each other and in the middle of the park we've got Fajoli and Mejbri. Back three can be switched out and rotated but it's so far consisting of Amitai, Dragusin and Dedic. Now I know the lads haven't had the best start to the season but with an overall net spend of 50.78 million pounds, I guess we didn't need the 500 million in the transfer budget. But we're taking the first steps for Paris FC to become greater than PSG. Mark my words and watch this space. I did one video without these training development plans and there was an uproar in the comments. So in order to help us out, we have got the development plan dropping on every single one of these players, improving their stats and attributes season after season. Let's see what this brand new Wonder Kids squad can achieve here in season one. Season one is done out here and they have failed in their first campaign to at least qualify for the playoffs. They finished in the bottom half of the table, 15th place with 44 points. The Wonder Kids are still way off from mounting a promotion charge. In what no doubt is League Dirt's youngest team, an average age or whatever, however you want to calculate it, this is how they performed. Who were the MVPs? The main man, the Brazilian Brenner up top with 13 goals. 20 goals amongst both Lincoln and Brenner. The Portuguese whiz kid Francisco Coentcao, or Coen I'm just going to call him Francisco. I've got no idea how to pronounce his name with 10 goal contributions. Amadialo from the right hand side with 3 goals in 27 matches. Meanwhile, Kaya guard with 3 goals in 15. Leandro Quiros from the back with 2 goals and Nicholas Beans, our main man. The Italian captain fantastic with 2 goals and an assist and Shola Shoretide off the bench with 2 goals. On the flip side though, let's analyze the growth and just the player development in general. We've got a plus 3 to Brenner, plus 4 to Lincoln, Fajoli going up a plus 3 and joining that elite top 3. Meanwhile, there are healthy growth spouts for the likes of Diallo with a plus 4, Coenciao joining with a 4. Our main centre-back, Dragusin, approaching the 70s mark, just like Mario Mitai. The organised development plans have given these players a boost where they need it most, and I'm sure this is going to help them in the long term. Financially, our most valuable asset right now is, of course, Brenner, valued at £8 million, followed by Lincoln, Fajoli, and Diallo. No denying the top four best-rated players at the club, and I can see some 10Xs on value here. I can see these players going to exponential heights in terms of the financial situation. It's going to be second time lucky for Paris FC in League 2. Let's see how the Wonder Kids get on in the second campaign. That is major progression at its finest. Welcome to League 1 Paris FC. With 77 points, they qualify in second for a promotion spot. Nims win the league, but that doesn't matter. They don't care because they're going to be facing the big boys of French football in the top flight. They formed a little decent cup run in the Coupe Nationale as well, going all the way to the quarterfinals to lose out to Lille 2-0. The major players, the promotion protagonists. Let's see who were the main MVPs in this side. And of course, Lincoln coming out on top, outperforming Brenner this season with 18 goals and 2 assists. 20 goal contributions for the 21-year-old, going up a plus 5 and nearly the first player to reach the 80 overall mark. Francisco Conceição with 13 goals and 8 assists, proving to be one of the main contributors and the main assets here at Paris FC. Meanwhile, the Brazilian partner, the oldest player in this squad, Brenner, only with 7 goals and 5 assists for the now 80 rated player. We've got a Paris FC OG, an original who we've decided to keep in here, Czech Umar Diakite. He scored 5 goals and 3 assists off the bench. Shola shot a Tire with 5 goals and 4. Morgan Rogers, the Englishman, all of a sudden bursting out the woodworks. The Lincoln City product with 4 goals and 3 assists. Mitai from the back, the Albanian with 4 goals. And Amad Diallo with a bit of a quiet season. Only 2 goals for the 19 year old. As captain beings himself, Nicolò Fajoli with 2 goals and 6 assists from the middle of the park. Eric Lopez off the bench with 2 goals. And Hannibal Mejbri with a plus 6 to his overall now at 70. He scored a goal and 3 assists in 31 appearances. Now, there are an abundance of players and talents that haven't gotten the game time they deserve or need for their growth and development, but still thanks to the development plans are getting the justified boost and attribute upgrades all around the park. A lot of them are still teenagers, they're young, so they've got time on their side. We're probably going to have to change the development plans come the start of Season 3, so I'll mix and match them around behind the scenes, but financially, the most valued player at the club right now, Conce Sal, has completely jumped the gun at plus 539% on his valuation. His stock has now risen to 27.5 million pounds. It's taken them two seasons to do it, but finally they reach top flight promotion. Lee Gun, here we come. We're not here to take part. The Wonder Kids are here to take over. Now, right here is their first season in the top flight, and I wasn't exactly expecting a relegation dogfight, but I wasn't expecting them to finish as high as this in 11th, with 49 points basically sitting in mid table, but still very far away from challenging their rivals. PSG on top of the table with 95 points. It almost seems like they're two worlds apart. Here were the players and prestigious figures of this club rising through the ranks, we still have the two Brazilians killing it with 25 goals amongst both of them, both Lincoln and Brenner. They've got a little partnership going on and they are both 80 
82 rated, 14 goals and 1 assist for Lincoln, 11 goals flat for Brenner. And our Portuguese Magnifico who refuses to back down and go away. It is Conceição for Paris FC, 7 goals and 9 assists, proving to be one of our most important players. And crucially, the captain, Nicolò Fajoli with 6 goals and 2 assists. Amadiallo from the wings, picking things back up to where he started, 2 goals and 3 assists. Mario Soriano, the Spaniard with 2 goals and 20 appearances. We've got Noel John with 2 goals and 8 appearances, which is impressive. But there's two sides to the coin. There always is with these Wonder Kid uh, little experiments. There's the Wonder Kids that succeed. They're getting game time. They are scoring goals and assists. But there are also others that aren't getting their irrespective game time. And it's just not failing, but it's really stunting their growth. We now have four players being the best at the club, hitting that 80s range. Conte Sal, he snuck up behind everyone and now up to an 83. Both Brenner and Lincoln at an 82. And the Albanian defender, Mario Mitai, out of nowhere, has come up to an 80, still at only 19 years of age. Now, financially, our most prized asset is Mr. Conce Sal. The Portuguese is proving to be one of the nation's bright hopes and a Paris FC baller, valued on the transfer market at 71.5 million pounds. Can they take their aspirations higher in season three, their second year in the top flight? Who knows, maybe European football is on the horizons. Paris FC, the sky is the limit. Oh my days. All right, season four has produced above and beyond expectations with the consistent progression each and every year. I didn't expect it to skyrocket like this. From 11th to 4th, Paris FC have qualified for European football. Unfortunately, they were three points short of Champions League qualification. They're going to have to do with Europa League football at the start of Season 5, but half a decade in. Still very far away, 21 points away from equaling a PSG at the top of the table, but that's a story for another day. I'm just proud with what the new Wonder Kids have been able to achieve. Just a little update, we now have a brand new number one, Ricardo Bandinelli, who I think it might be Gianluigi Buffon's region. I'm not quite sure, but I just saw him recommended to me by a scout, so I picked him up. He is currently our starting goalkeeper, but most importantly, here are the new Wonder Kids absolutely balling out. They're loving life here in League 1, and it's the same old three, the same trident. We've got Lincoln, Beeson and Feeson with 23 goals and 2 assists in 42 appearances. Don Seisel with a bit of a quieter season, but 7 goals and 11 assists, proving to not only be a goal-scoring winger, but a playmaker as well. Brenner's numbers are going down, quite disappointing in 40 appearances, only managed to find at the back of the net 7 times. And big captain Beans right here, 6 goals and 4 assists for the Italian 10 goal contribution. Someone who we haven't seen in the high goal scoring ranks, Benjamin Sesko, the Slovenian. 6 goals in off the bench for the 21 year old, Amad Diallo with 2 goals and 2 assists, and Hannibal Mejbri, 2 goals and 7 assists for the Frenchman back in his hometown, competing at the highest level. I'm really impressed with Mario Mitoa's growth right here, plus 3 after a 41 game season. And here is a quick overview of the rest of the team, here are how the rest of the Wonder Kids are doing. The Romanian Warrior Dragusin has now reached 81 overall and Bandinelli's first season. 13 clean sheets in 41 appearances. I might just switch back the development plans to balance for season 5. I'll let dynamic potential do the talking as we see this elite club of 80 plus increase every season. Now we have 5 members. Financially, Conceição Sao has bursted through that 100 million pound door. The 21 year old Portuguese sensation is now valued at 137.5 million pounds. In second place, both Lincoln and Brenner stand no chance as he is the destined front runner right now. Oh, this is big. This is history right here. Here, a Paris derby, the biggest game in French football, Coupe Nationale final. It is between the riches of PSG and the youth of Paris FC. How did we get here? I don't know, but I haven't been focusing on this competition mainly throughout this simulation. But what a run! Beating Marseille 4 to an aggregate, taking down Rennes 2 0 in the quarterfinals. We'll definitely be simulating that one after we take a glance at season 5. How did they fare? And it looks like they've just been matching the season number. Season 4 finishing in fourth and losing out one point in that fourth spot. Placed in 5th with 67 points. PSG still finished league leaders in 1st, but Strasbourg beat us out to that 4th place finish. Getting relegated is Lorient, Stade de Rems, and Amiens. Here is how their first stint in Europe Europa League campaign played out in Group L. They didn't take any Ls with Ajax, Rapid Vienna, and FK Bodo. They finished on top in the round of 32. They took down Galatasaray on away goals 3-3 in the round of 16. They defeated Russian outfit Spartak Moscow, and in the quarterfinals, they lost to the mighty Super League club 
Chelsea 3-2. Here is how they're lining up. I'm simming this one. I want to see this play out live. We're playing in their backyard on enemy territory. Let's quick sim this one and see if we get the luck of the draw. No, in a five-goal thriller. He finishes 3-2 in the Parisians' favor. Conte Sal equalized Verratti again to make it 2-2. And Neymar had the final say in an 87th minute winner. It's heartbreak, boys, but we go again. Finishing fifth, battling on multiple fronts. First time in Europe and a cup finalists. Let's see how the extra games and multiple competitions phase the Wonder Kids as Lincoln has been our best goal scorer in about for about three seasons in a row now. 28 goals and four assists. Boosting his rating up to an 86. Brennan now standing at an 85 with 17 goals and seven assists. This time, Francisco Conce Sal. I told you to look forward to this kid and he has delivered. Being the first player in this video so far with double figures in both goals and assists. 14 goals, 15 assists, 29 goal contributions is absolutely stunning. Shure Tire has now taken over Amad Diallo on the right hand side with 11 goals and 5 assists. The Englishman making a mark in this first team. Mauritis Kayagard with 4 goals and 2 assists. Teragusen from centre back with 3 goals. As Diallo's career has somehow taken a tumble. The 22 year old with 3 goals in 24 appearances. Hannibal Mejbri has really stepped up. The Frenchman with the largest afro known to man. 9 assists and 3 goals. Our captain Nicolo Fajoli with 3 goals and 8 assists. Captain Beans proving why he is a man of leadership. And here down at the bottom is the one kids who really didn't make it or didn't get the game time in order for them to grow and dynamic potential has had it say it's played its part. It's also helping the team now that we have a solid goalkeeper in between the sticks. Bandinelli 14 clean sheets in 58 appearances. Most players are back on balance now in terms of their development plans besides a few here and there as we take a look at the financial situation. Does this man ever stop growing? Approaching the 90s at 22 he could be one of the world's best next season valued at 142.5 million pounds. We're going into uncharted territory here lads. I think Season 6 is all about dethroning PSG without European distraction. Let's see if the new look Paris FC has got it in them. Have you thought the French Cup final was big last year? Sir BCHD's Paris FC have got involved and have reached a European final. The Europa League sees the club in the final. For some reason finishing in fifth still gets some European football in League 1. And they have taken this competition by the scruff of the neck up against Lazio. It could earn them their first piece of silverware qualification into the Champions League. And this is the start. Starting 11 we've got going on right now. Let's simulate this one and see what they can do up against the Eagles. In the cheeky little quick sim, what is about to go down in the club's most important night? And it's Lincoln securing the double. The Brazilian single-handedly writing his name into Paris FC and French football folklore. The Parisians have done it. They have taken home the Europa League, qualifying for the Champions League for season seven. Your European champions, the wonder kids of the next generations. Go and say South stands proudly next to the trophy as they earned one of their first major honours in club history. Finishing fourth in the league, they needed to win the Europa League in order to qualify for the Champions League and not getting that top three. As PSG take home the title, let's see who our European champions were and how they performed this season for the first time ever. Both Brenner and Lincoln are tied on goals 23 each. The only thing separating them is their assist, Brenner with two more. As Conte Sao again with 12 goals and 19 assists, proven to be a bit more of a playmaker and an assist merchant. 23 Three-year-old Portuguese now up to a 91 overall and back-to-back -back seasons with double figures in both departments. 31 goal contributions in 55 appearances in, is mind-boggling stuff. Output is crazy. As Shola Xeretire has taken over some first-team members including Diallo, the Englishman making his name known as Nicolo Fajoli with his ever-consistent performances, nine goals and four assists. Diallo in off the bench with three goals and three. We have Niall John again, three goals and two assists for the Englishman. Quiros off the bench with two goals from centre-back and Ivan Saranic made the most of it with two goals and one assist in 17 appearances. The man that has taken matters into his own hands, Francisco. What a career, what a legacy he's leaving behind. Now valued at 169.5 million pounds. The Portuguese is proving to be one of the world's best as both Lincoln and Brennan are too far behind. I try and mention it every time it's applicable, but it's so satisfying as seeing these young guns or now established stars being caught up to the national team. Most of them now involved with the national team setup. It's 2026 World Cup time and some Paris FC boys are repping on the international stage. On surface level, it looks like Brenner and Lincoln have led their nation to World Cup glory. Brazil secure a sixth World Cup to their name as they took down Mexico in the final 2-1. Lincoln actually playing a major part, being one of Brazil's best players. Seven appearances, four goals and two assists. You've got to be proud of the Paris FC boy, an average match rating of 77. His strike partner, Brenner, didn't play all too much, but two appearances for him, at least he got a run out. Insane scenes here in 2020. 26, but let's get on with the rest of season 7. Season 
7's title charge was literally to no avail. PSG and Leon fought it out for the top prize as our Paris FC boys have a record high of third. It was Coup National disappointment as they lost down in the quarterfinals in a five goal thriller 3 2 to Lille. It was the Europa League winners versus the Champions League winners, and in the UEFA Super Cup, they take home another piece of silverware, taking down Atletico Madrid 4 2. And T was their debut campaign in the Champions League. Joining to Group F wasn't the easiest of groups with Bayern, Atalanta, and Lokomotiv Moscow, but they slithered their way through, finishing in second, qualifying for the round of 16. They successfully took down RB Leipzig at 2 1 on aggregate, a big performance there, and in the quarterfinals, they met their match, Barcelona 3 2. On aggregate, losing in another close contention, it was actually Inter to win the whole thing on Paris 4 3 against Real Madrid. To be fair, I think that's how we might leave it. Seven seasons of Paris FC and the newest of Wonder Kids here in FIFA 21. We've had the likes of Lincoln and Brenner form a Brazilian strike partnership like no other, win the World Cup for their nation as well as Francisco Conceição. It's been an absolute pleasure seeing this man's career prosper here at Paris FC. The Portuguese with 17 goals and 8 assists this season, Shola Chore Tire, has been an absolute gem rising through the ranks consistently ever so slowly with 20 goal contributions this season. Double figures in both departments for our captain, big man Fajoli, with 11 goals and 13 assists, the Italian leading by example, Morgan Rogers off the bench, the Englishman all of a sudden they're performing with 4 goals and 2 assists. And Diallo was expecting so much more out of him, but he just ended up flatlining. He plateaued and the Ivorian 3 goals and 2 assists this season, but here is just a quick overview of the rest of the team. The Wonder Kids that couldn't quite make it and show you what they're made of. Dynamic potential set their careers straight and we just kept a hold of them, kept them on the roster season after season. Winning the Europa League, winning the UEFA Super Cup, being finalists and nearly overthrowing PSG. What an effort they've all had collectively. And financially, we have held one of the most expensive players in world football right now. Our boy Francisco valued at 214.5 million pounds and both our Brazilian hitmen are worth pretty much the same, 116.5 mil. Glorious scenes here as we've transformed the Paris FC into a French footballing giant, if not a European threat. And of course, if there were any Wonder Kids that I missed out on or should have been involved, let me know down in the comments below. If you did go on to enjoy the video, make sure to drop it a like down below, hit subscribe and turn on those notifications. Follow me on all my social platforms down in the description. As always, I've been Sir PCHD. Have a great day and I'll catch you all in the very next video.